people, it's our anniversary weekend. Um, we decided to make a quick trip to New York. Um, so we rented a car and we actually chose like the random option and ended up with an electric car. So this was our first time like driving using an electric vehicle. So my partner loved it a lot. Honestly, the car is super intuitive. It lets you know when it's gonna run out of charge, where's the nearest compatible charging station. But even in the short time of using it, I can totally understand what range anxiety is because I had it the entire time. So our first day, we just drove from Boston over to Brooklyn. So it's about like, if there's no traffic, depending on where you are, it could take three and a half to four hours. So we did that. And then we went to grab a bite to eat at Cuts and Slices. So we've been seeing Cuts and Slices all over socials and we're like, I love food, I love pizza, I need to try this out. So we tried them and then we just drove home and rested for the evening. So I didn't even um, record any video of our hotel, but we stayed in a hotel in Sheetset Bay because it's like 10 minutes away from my family's crib who live in Canarsie. And we love that that hotel specifically has parking like just included in the rate. And if you've been in New York and you've circled the block 10 times trying to find parking, or if you just live in the city, it's the same here in Boston, you know how important it is to have parking wherever you go. So we just like to stay there. Um, we did do breakfast there. So they have what you would expect when you think of just like a traditional continental breakfast at a hotel. We just don't trust Airbnbs in New York. So that's kind of our go-to place. After what, let's see, an uh, hour Good. wait, we finally got our pizza Good. and it better hit. Day two was super busy. So we started our day um, going to see my gut aunt, um, who's the oldest living relative of mine on my maternal side. So it was super important to me for my partner to meet her. And I was just like learning about her childhood with my grandmother and all the places she's traveled to. And I just learned like, this is where I get my travel bug from. So tell me you're Haitian without telling me you're Haitian. If you're from the island, you know all about this armoire full of china that you'll never get to eat on. That's for company and special occasions. And I know you see that plastic on that furniture that's probably way older than me. At least she's taken that plastic runner that used to be on the carpet. And if that bitch was ever flipped over to the other side and you accidentally stepped on it, it was just over with. But it was super cute to be there and just see the same home that I've been coming to since I was a kid. Send oh my god, take it. Oh, yes, I told you. Tower, yes. Just uh, walk yep. and the beach. Yep. Go to Vatica. We went to the back. Uh, you can't pay la pour the sorti de la pour faire le Where? Monaco. Monaco? Morocco. Oh, Morocco. Yeah. Is this you, Tati? Yes, that's Wow! Me. Look at Tati. You're so pretty. Yeah. Little shell bag, I see. So after we left Tati's house, we um, went to the Brooklyn Museum. So we love art, so we had to go do that. And right next door to the museum is the 
um, Brooklyn Public Library. And if you don't know, they have a Jay-Z exhibit going on right now until mid or late October. So they have all his lyrics on the outside of the building. Um, they also have these album cover theme library cards. So definitely go get you one. So when we left the museum, there was only 15 minutes before the library closed and we just did not want to rush it, but we just had to scope out the sites for the day. Right next door to the library is also a park. So we just kind of walked around the park just cause it was just beautiful outside. And we don't play about getting our steps. Like even when we're traveling, we have to get our steps. So we're just moving around. Um, after that, we went back to the hotel, took a shower and got ready for dinner. We had dinner at this place called Haven Mar. It's this really cute black owned spot that has like this mermaid theme to the decor. Um, I will say their food was good. Um, I will say check out their menu or maybe call up before you go because we looked at the menu ahead of time, knew what we wanted. And when we got there, they were like, we not have that. Like they had just other things they were offering on that menu. So just make sure like they actually have what you're looking for. I don't know how often they switch up that menu, but um, their food is good. Just make sure they actually have what you want. And right after that, we just took like a 10 minute walk from there over to Times Square. I mean, there's one of those, Times Square is one of those places you just have to be there, but there's just way too many people. <laughs> there's just way too many people. So many lights, the lights are beautiful. There's always something going on, people street dancing, but it's just way too many people. So we did that and tolerated that for as long as we could. And then we took our asses back to the hotel and passed out. City. If you cannot do this, you should be clapping. Make some noise! All right. There's so many people here. Yes. <laughs> and it's hot as fuck. On day three, we started the morning by um, walking around the bay. It was really pretty. We love being near water, so we did that. drive like an hour and a half north to upstate um to where my dad's at and we kind of just had a family day we cooked out we were playing cards like board games vibing like dancing so here's a video of me dancing um with my dad so i'm sending you some compa vibes <laughs> It was really good 
to see family. So the next day we just woke up, we walked the dog and we packed it up and came back to Boston. So if you've been to New York before, let me know what are your favorite sites to see, some of your favorite places to eat. And if you make it out to that um, Hove exhibit um, at the library, let me know. I'll meet you in the comments.